welcome to part three. Um, what we have to do is we have to put everything back together. That's exactly the same way as how uh, we took it apart. Put the battery, the case in there. Um, initially, as I took it apart, I removed that screw there in the back. It turns out that doesn't hold anything but the battery contacts in the back. The battery case is only held in by double-sided tape on the bottom of it. And so we put everything back together and then we get to the front display. Alright, so now is the point to clean everything. I use a Q-tip and here this isopropyl alcohol, 70%. And we clean this area where we put the glue on. We are going to clean this area where the double-sided tape was and this corner here. We need to make sure that we don't get any of the glue we use on here and on there because those are the two microphones. And we don't want to lose the microphone, right? So super careful in this corner. Just a small little drop here. And uh, we need to clean this here. We cannot forget to remove those two labels, this one and this one, before we put it on here. Um, this one also is clean from the inside the glass and on top here because once we put it on there we will need to uh, put the lens cover on. Maybe we leave the lens cover off to get air in there so that it can dry faster but I think epoxy dries even without air so that's not necessary. Yet so I'm gonna use epoxy for this and I will uh, epoxy around here on this surface in this area a dot and here so here I don't have double-sided tape so I'm gonna epoxy this this will be fun next time to get this off but with a knife going under here this shouldn't be a big deal another hint when you open this up with a knife you know when you take a face plate off um, you can get in here cut here in this area there is a little pin here so there is where you can't get Away from, but you could go under here, cut this off this area, cut underneath here up to this pin. You have to cut around this pin because there will be a drop of epoxy. And then this area here, you can go in with a sharp knife like this and then really cut around here and here. And the same over here, there. That's where you could cut with a knife. And you just have to be careful that you do not damage this display here when you go in there and that's how I would go about getting the faceplate off you know and one thing before we put this all together we need to make sure that it still works so I turn this on after we have the front plate on everything connected the LED was blinking front display is working rear display is working touch is working Maybe not the fastest, but uh, so we go here to 1080. I want. I don't have that here. So speed 30. But can I not go to 1080? Why is it going back to this? So we're going to get this mixed now. First of all. I'm ready to take off the thing here, the tape. Should I do this afterwards? No. This tape comes off before we forget. Super electrostatic. And then this tape comes off. Okay. Put this the other way around. And now we need to mix the stuff to glue this. Um, See how much I need. And it's more than enough. You're not supposed to breathe this in. I mean, for sure, it comes with a spatula here. So you need to thoroughly 
mix this until it has all the same color. Oh, look at this, it's even. So and once you mix it, there's like 15 minutes. before the stuff hardens. You don't want to get any bubbles in here. You don't want to breathe it in. Very important, this stuff is super dangerous, breathing it in. Epoxy, right? The most important is the mix. Only then everything hardens. So, turn them. And sure, I get a phone call now, one else, right? And then you use a syringe to suck it up. Let's see if that works. So the sucking action here with the syringe seems to work pretty good. in a lot. I'm almost certain that this is enough. And now we're going to apply. <coughs> Get this here. And have to be super careful. It's like almost too much already. You know, this will go all the way around here. I mean, there was a lot of stuff in here, I know that. So it goes here. Then I want to put one here. This I can later um, remove. And there's one. Okay. Now, we are right here. It is possible that it squishes onto the screen a little bit, but that's just what it is. And then I'm going to plug this in like this. And then this thing just has to wait. Okay, I don't put this on here. I don't want to right now. And I put my little weight on here like this and that's just how it's gonna be and we need to wait 15 minutes um, for it to move around and then I would say one hour it's hardened after one hour we can put it completely back together and see what's going on now as a, a test we will see if our um, mixing thing here how hard that got in the same time frame so then we know the status of our glue here. All right. So we're here after 15 minutes. And even if we try super hard to squish here, I don't know if you can see how hard I try. You know, this is not coming out. So there we see now how hard this epoxy is get it's getting right so in one hour this is so hard that you can use it there's no reason to wait for anything after that so you don't have to wait a day that thing is good for good and then if we want to see how sturdy this is later you see here the overall is moving still Probably not dry yet, but um, so 
So that's a very good clue for this. This will never open up again. So we are back after an hour. This is how it looks like now. You know, here is like a little bit of a gap in here, but um, you can't push it in further. You know, this was because I was damaging the, the case, really. But no water can go in there anyway. It doesn't matter if you have like... See, there is this gap all the way around it a little bit. Looks larger on the camera than it really is. No? And then can get here the little screen thing off. Come on, here. There we go, see? There, and then we turn it on. Like I said. It's up and running. Here, display working. Just a little banged up here on the edges. But other than that, camera was saved. Oh, look at this symbol. 